A pilot project to repower and restart ESCOM's Kamati power station holds the potential to re-stimulate economic act activity in the area. Kamati was commissioned in the early 60s, mothballed for almost two decades, then restarted in 2008 before its closure last year. It could be a game-changing energy transition project. So where is it now and what could it mean for the community? Could it signal the burgeoning of similar initiatives to support the country's distressed energy provision? Professor Samson Mampueli is with the South African National Energy Development Institute and is the head of the Energy Secretariat. Good evening to you, Prof, and welcome. It's lovely to have you with us. Talk to us a bit more about the design of the project and how it was meant to work. It seems as though repowering is one part. The other is also what it would mean for the community in terms of jobs and training. Uh, good evening to you, Iman, and uh, the, the viewers. Um, so what um, uh, was planned at Komati is a number of um, what one could term sub-projects. Um, there is a solar farm that has been planned for Komati. Uh, there was a wind farm that was planned also for Komati. Some aquaponics where they, there will be the production of fish and vegetables at the same time. And a training center that um, uh, a CPUT through Saratech uh, will be running where there will be training uh, the workers or reskilling the workers on through uh, the, a training program that focuses on uh, the, the solar part of things and the wind energy part of things, uh, which would then result in a number of uh, wind energy and solar energy technicians that will be trained through that uh, particular facility. Um, there is the, also the manufacturing of the of the mini grids, which is basically the a container with uh, with uh, with some solar panels and and some some inverters, and and then that uh, container then gets dropped at a at a remote location where there's there's no they won't have electricity, uh, and then it will then provide electricity. So the last time I visited the power station. Uh, the mini grid manufacturing assembly plant was already in place. They had already started uh, manufacturing some mini grids as well uh, through some of the programs that we're running under the DSI uh, of the Department of Science and Innovations uh, and its secretariat. We are also manufacturing some uh, small scale wind turbine to augment uh, what what they are doing with the with the on the mini grid so that we can integrate it there. So that process is is is, is going on. The establishment of the training center had already started. Escom had already signed an agreement with CPUT. Uh, the last time I checked, they were going through a process to establish that training center at at, at Komati. There was also money that was um, being made that being made available by the World Bank to 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 implement part of the plan, which included the the turning of the generators into synchronous condensers. The synchronous condensers basically provide what we call grid stability. When you bring in a lot of renewable energy, you need synchronous condensers to stabilize the grid. So 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 that that work is also still. Continuing, there was a, a design already. The engineering design parts have been have been completed. So we expect that uh, some of these initiatives uh, should be uh, uh, proceeding uh, as things stand. I just spoke to one of the uh, uh, ESCOM engineers about a few minutes ago, and before coming into this interview, who, who told me that. Uh, the, the, there are a number of few things that are being ironed out when it comes to the facility by the World Bank. And then once those things have, are, are ironed out, some of the, 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 the projects will then immediately kick, kick in. So the project is still continuing, Nima. Yeah. I mean, that's a, a, a lot of money you're getting from the World Bank. I think it's around um, 9 billion rand. Prof, I think it's important for us to talk about how important the success of this project um, you know, how important it would be if it works in the way that it was designed to work. Yes, it is quite important because we're looking at how we can basically save jobs. Uh, so it becomes an example of the just energy transition. As we transition from uh, a, a, a high kind of um, carbon intensive 
electricity generation system to a low carbon uh, uh, intensive electricity generation system. Uh, there are obviously jobs that get lost. Um, so so it, this project is, is going to basically uh, be used as an example so that if, if it becomes a success going forward when we uh, decommission some of the coal powered uh, fire power stations, then these are the, some of the interventions that will then be put in place. So the success of this particular project is of mm. um, paramount importance yeah. uh, going forward. Um, you know, when you read the, the story about uh, the town itself and when the plant was decommissioned or even, you know, during the years when it was mothballed, varying fortunes of the community there. And if you were able to defibrillate this opportunity uh, and, and, you know, open it up, there could be a lot of people in that community who might benefit and, and benefit quite significantly. I guess the next question then is, is it on track? I, I was reading that there was some red tape which is holding up the process. You talked about some of the T's and C's with the World Bank that need to be finalized. But is it likely? to to be delivered on time or to realize its full potential on time maybe just a quick word on um on, on when it's likely to, to 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 achieve that yeah so so when i had an engagement with the the escom colleagues um i, I got the sense that uh, there were delays uh, obviously um but the project is is back on track um, so, so it's not going to be to be delivered on on on, on time, but uh, there are no no plans to stop the project as things stand. There are talks, uh, you know, uh, around the energy space of of um, refiring some of the of the units. Uh, I know that at least there was at least one unit that was working at a, a, a much higher energy availability factor. Uh, so, so those talks are still, uh, uh, you know, at infancy stage, and and they are not happening within ESCOM. They are happening at government in in general, and they've got to do with the, yeah. the the energy crisis that we're facing at the moment. So the project itself, as things stand, is proceeding. It may it will have some slight delays.